Traditionally, we have characterized MS into relapsing remitting, secondary progressive, and primary progressive types of MS. In relapsing remitting MS, which makes up about 85% of patients at the start of MS, there are episodes of neurologic dysfunction blurry vision, double vision, coordination problems, weakness, or numbness. These last for several days to a few weeks and then resolve, although sometimes leave residual deficits. This is most common at the beginning of MS. And after 10, 15, 20 years, the disease often transforms and the relapses and new lesions and MRI become less frequent and are replaced by a gradual little by little decline, which is what we call secondary progressive MS. Secondary progressive because it secondarily follows the relapsing remitting stage. Patients in the secondary progressive phase, the gradual little by little worsening, will sometimes have superimposed relapses and sometimes not. There are also some patients, and this is about 10 to 15% of patients at the beginning of the disease, who seem to skip the relapsing phase and go right into the gradual little by little worsening over time. We call that primary progressive MS because primarily it started as a progressive disease. The majority of those patients never have relapses, although there is certainly a subset who do develop relapses, uh, and many of them will have new lesions on MRI. One of the great challenges in caring for patients with MS is our limited ability to prognosticate. We're not very good. We can pick groups that are more likely or less likely to develop problems, and this would be in the relapsing remitting population. So women tend to have a better prognosis than men. Younger individuals at disease onset have a better prognosis than older. People having more attacks have a worse prognosis than people having fewer. People with more disease on their MRI have a worse prognosis. People who don't recover as well. Um, and in general, you know, we have these courses um, Clinical ASA syndrome is, obviously has the best prognosis because they've only had one attack. The next best as a group would be relapsing remitting. Um, and then the group that develops the most disability impairment are the people who have transitioned into either secondary progressive MS or start out as primary progressive MS. So they, they carry the worst prognosis, but it's still quite variable uh, amongst them. When we redid the the phenotypes of MS, relapse remitting, secondary progressive, primary progressive, um, that you've already heard about. We also suggested subtyping disease by whether the, an individual was active or not active. A person who was active either had a relapse or had new activity on their MRI scan over some defined period of time. We also redefine them as having either progression or not progressing if they were in a progressive phase. So in the 1996 phenotype paper, we described progressive relapsing as patients who start out as primary progressive and then have an acute attack. When we added on in, in, for the 2013 uh, criteria, uh, when we added on the measure for activity, that subsumed what was being called progressive relapsing because now that was primary progressive with activity. That's essentially the same as what was the old progressive relapsing.